said, will you move around and don't hurt each other, there's complete freedom. Yeah, uh, and as long as you move around in a line. Okay, people, in a line, yeah. in a line. Okay, so, so we, can, we can do it here, like we can start a line. In a line. Okay. Yeah, we can do this before. Yeah. Okay. So you like to do it first. Okay. 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 So where is it stopping? Because I feel like we're not coughing. Ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we can walk. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 The line is stopping somewhere. No, no, it's okay. It's now it's going. Walk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You almost walk. You can come in and Yeah, okay. So now you are completely free. Just move around in the line. <laughs> so, we're continuing. <laughs> yeah. Amanda, I wait to. Amanda, I wait to. Just move around in the line. Amanda, I wait to. Amanda. Over I have here. to get to my but position. That's the yeah. 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 Yeah.
Don't mind the caution tape. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, here's some rocky. No pasará, no pasará. Dolores Ibaruri, also known as La Pasionaria, was a member of the Communist Spanish Communist Party, a part of the democratically elected government in place when the fascists seized power by force. On July 19, 1936, she gave a speech encouraging everyone to stand up to the fascism, not only in Spain, but throughout Europe. Mostly highlighted in Mussolini's Italy and what's his name? Hitler. And Hitler's Nazi Germany. No pasará, they shall not pass. No pasará, the fascists shall not pass. They shall not pass. Let's see where are you sitting? Um, my cable is quite short. Uh, you, you have to sit over there because oh. we have cables. Yeah, here. we have yeah. short cables. So, okay, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can sit here. Yeah. Hi. Um, are you here together? Yes. <laughs> and you as well? Are you yeah. like a big group? Can I sit in the middle of you? Because I don't want to in the corner. Chest, bang, bicep, bang, 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 bang. On August 6, 2011, they started marching to the police station. They were shouting, we want answers, we want justice, we want answers, we want justice. <coughs> then what happened? Well, it depends who you ask. But a 16-year-old who approached the police was beaten with bottles, right shields, and what had injuries. Then what happened? Was that when it happened? Bang. It depends who you ask, because there are those who say none of it was connected. The shots, the bottles, the right shields, and what came after. What happened? Shh. Seriously, what happened? It depends who you ask. Sure, we'll give us all. The cops that dragged him to the side of the road to wait for the ambulance were cleared of all charges. Even though everyone had seen the video. Yes, that's what happened. Los Angeles exploded. April 29, 1992. The four cops are cleared of all charges. And on the intersection of Florence and Normandy, South Central LA. That's where it begins. The LAPD asks for help. Curfew. No one is allowed outside from dusk to dawn. The LAPD asks for help. So they arrive. Helicopters everywhere. And on the ground, they're everywhere. 1,100 Marines. 600 others from the Army. 6,500 from the National Guard. Even more soldiers. 1992, just like London, 19 years later, everyone wants to know. And the ones who beat and dragged are out of excuses. Those who've been acquitted, bail or guilt. Shh. Dictatorship, hundreds of thousands on the streets, and fires, fuegos, in central Tehran. Marg bar dictator. For freedom of speech, for democracy. For freedom of speech, for democracy.
Now, now, now. Okay, let's go. T? No. No? 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 No. Not now. Sure. Yes? Yes. See? If I can't answer it, it's not my revolution. If I can't answer I don't want to be a part of a revolution. A revolution without dancing is not a revolution worth having. If they won't be dancing at the revolution, I'm not coming. If I can't dance, I don't want to be a part of a revolution. Oh, sorry, we're like that. If I can't dance, it's not my revolution. A revolution without dancing is not a revolution worth having. If I can't dance, I don't want to be a part of your revolution. If there will be dancing at the revolution, I'm not coming. What's... But what happened? What? Yeah, what happened? BMW, Mercedes, Kia, Mazda, Renault, Fiat. What happened? What do you mean? There was a fire. And after that? And before that? Bang. Riot police. Bang. Police. Pepper spray. Armor. Bang. And after that? A fire. Mazda, Kia, Renault, Fiat, Volvo, BMW, Mercedes. But what happened? <coughs> what? Yeah, what happened? BMW, Mercedes, Kia, Mazda, Renault, Fiat. What happened? What do you mean? There was a fire. And after that? And before that? Bang. Riot police. Bang. Police. Pepper spray. Armor. Bang. And after that? A fire. Mazda, Kia, Renault, Fiat, Volvo, BMW, Mercedes.
money that they take back from yeah. And you know what they told me? I have every right in this land to speak up. I have every right to be angry. I have every right to shout if I want to shout. So this is I'm fed up with this. Can I ask you one more question? When you say someone grabbed your arm for talking, what happened? The policeman grabbed my arm because he wanted to take me over there so nobody could hear me saying what I wanted to say. I didn't attach the policeman. I didn't come to him, but I got grabbed anyway. Yeah. Like, so first, for a person to have an argument, you must have an argument with somebody else. Yeah. Now I was the one that was grabbed. Why? Because I'm loud. Because I speak my mind. And because I'm black. Keep speaking your mind, man. Keep speaking. Yeah, I ain't lying. I don't have against white people. I don't white people around me all the time. I don't make any difference to me. I don't have fairness. This lady here to be quite fair, you know, to be friends with another. And because she's right, doesn't mean I'm against her. What happened after? What happened before? Mazda, Volvo, Fiat, BMW, Mercedes. May 15, 2013, Megafonen, Husby, Stockholm. We, who were at the site on Monday and spoke to several citizens there, could tell that the police information contains several grave errors. The most important being that the man was never taken to hospital in an ambulance, but was left in the apartment where he was shot until shortly past 2 a.m at which point he was removed in a verse. We're questioning what is actually correct in the entire police description. However, even if the police disinformation is astonishing and calls for further inquiry, the thing we're most agitated about is what we can only view as a murder. How can the assault team on site, specially trained for scenarios like this, not resolve the situation by other means than murdering a 69 year old out only with a knife. Should the ones claiming to uphold the law be the worst of vendors? Since when it is, okay, is it okay for the police to come into our communities and kill our citizens? Husby, Stockholm, Megafonda, a community based organization pointed out as terrorists for not condemning the community's protests. What happened before that? Way before. What happened before that? What happened way before? What do you mean? What? Yeah, what happened? What do you mean? What do you mean? What happened way before the thing with the fire and the cars? They were three. 15 years, 17 years, 17 years. Sick and tired of being constantly harassed by the police. They were three. 15 years, 17 years, 17 years. What happened? Depends who you ask. They were going home. They had been playing football. Depends who you ask. Two of them died. Everyone knows. The police know. Sarkozy knows. But still. But still what? It still depends who you ask. They had played football. They were going home. They died. But still. Just saying. Don't kill the messenger. They hid from the police and they died. Okay. But seriously. What happened? Yeah, what happened? They were on their way home. They got scared because the police had picked them up a bunch of times before, asking for ID, being rude, violent, and keeping them for hours. They got scared. Was that when they started hiding? Yeah, 
they ran into a power station at the construction site. The police arrested six other teens and took them to the station. And while they were being interrogated just next to the construction site, October 27, 2005 in clichy sur bois on the outskirts of Paris, it became completely dark. Power failure. What? Because of? Yeah. Syed Bena and Buna Traore died. Muhit Naltun was injured. And then? Yeah. What happened after? They fired a shot to the leg and one to the head. And as the coroner arrived to the newspaper on the outskirts of Stockholm, the police said that the person had been taken to the hospital for care. But hospitals can't treat the executed. Shit, what happened? Then everything happened. But it depends on who you ask and all that. Was that when it happened? When? What? Was that when it happened? Clichy <coughs> Paris, 2005. Tottenham, London, 2011. Husby, Stockholm, May 13th. Beyond bars, beyond borders. Beyond bars, beyond borders. Protect one another from these white supremacist borders. Beyond bars, beyond borders. Protect one another from these white supremacist orders. We fight for the dream they told us we had. We fight for the dream that my mom was led to believe we'd have. We fight for my husband who has to deal with an expired green card, renew some card, I-90 carry a card, brand them on a card, just another old guard to keep track, put our people behind bars. I would dream upon stars if it would take away the scars. Memoirs of separated families like splits with crowbars, labeled registrars or stay under the radar. Mark a child an alien like they were from Mars. Black and brown people ain't a number they can trademark. Cannot destroy a Chicano park. Can't create a higher arc amongst our people by a piece of paper to prove an allegiance to a government that never had, never has the intention to love our people beyond their labor, you see. My own heart will never waver. I know where I stand. I know who I am. I bang for a change and walk like a warrior as dead Prez once sang. This is the borderlands. Gloria and Zardua told us this means you. You see, DACA is not just a Latinx issue. This is a black, Afro-Latinx, indigenous, Caribbean, Asian, and many communities issues. It is not all true that we are all a nation of immigrants as we settle upon stolen lands. Africans stolen, sold into slavery from the new world to this Kumeyaay land, forced migration, ripped my familia away from our homeland, colonized minds, imperialism, American exceptionalism, had 29% of my own people who voted for that 45 Trump cis white supremacist man, while there are 3.5 million Filipinx immigrants living on this land, 800,000 plus more undocumented Filipinx work in this land, 1.6 million plus more APIs undocumented in fear to be banned, 85% plus more brown Asians deported for criminal convictions, 1.1 million plus more refugees from Southeast Asia displaced by U.S. occupation. 1 million plus more with DACA and TPS targeted, detained, and deportation. This ain't a nation. It's a made-up eye. Locking up every single black, brown, indigenous, Mexican, Asian. We are more than just a statistic. I refuse to forget Troy Davis, Sandra Bland, Eddie Zhang, those who died in living mass incarceration beyond bars, beyond borders. Protect one another from these white supremacist orders. This is capitalism, and we fucking with their green papers. Shoot. Roll them up, pull up, but you best stay woke. Cause every white poor folks taking their last stance. Check the citizenship status, border patrol keep at it. Ever wonder what it's like to get no sleep? Cause the thought of losing the only home you've ever known keeps you anxious. KKKs, white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and every white privileged Trump voters think their whiteness will save them? When all it ever brings are man-made disasters. People still surviving Fukushima and Katrina. Tsunamis coming in faster as their pockets growing fast. Then here comes Hurricane Harvey and Irma. A corporate storm turned into floods because climate change is a real thing like tobacco industries co-opting cannabis buds. Feel the thud of 600,000 undocumented hearts beating as they roam in boats with fear just to get to a safe shore. Some of us don't answer doors, climb fences, fleeing from their own country from a U.S. rooted war. So trust 
is hard to build upon, especially when Trump signs an executive order call. So you're apathetic and stonewalled, or maybe some of y'all are really neoliberals, and nothing sucks more than some liberal thinking they really down with us all. Your street cred comes to question, because we see you stacking stones, helping to build walls, as 800,000 plus more are trafficked and will be trafficked, brought over wired walls from here to Texas to Palestine, destroying olive trees, breaking levees, and storms push past and pull us through dams chemical power plants blast. We wear gas masks from pepper sprays to greenhouse gas emissions. America's on a mission, starts wars with North Korea while they're bombing and burning our people right here, leaving disabled people to drown as they try to cut what little we get with Obamacare. Senate Bill 4 and in Texas swimming for their lives, diving past police, working with ICE and riot gear. They coming for one of us, they coming for all. Black, brown, Chicano, indigenous, First Nations, Muslim, Sikhs, Pacific Islander, and Asians, lesbian, gay, gender, non-conforming, non-binary, trans, and queer. So let us be clear. Call a thing a thing. This is white supremacy, yet again, protecting their American frontier. Beyond bars, beyond borders, protect one another from these white supremacist orders. So what becomes of a dreamer when the dream has always been a lie? Well, the dreamers have always been the truth that have killed their lives. We know who we are. We know who we be. Put our own bodies on the line because this is what it means to be free. People have died so our own people can be free. So many will die before they can ever see us being free. This is the reality. Revolution ain't fucking pretty. What's it gonna take for us to move past allyship and towards true solidarity? When are we gonna realize that when black lives are free, we all get free. Build the people's army. Defending DACA means defending families, means defending a future and all the possibilities we can't split communities, dividing who's good, who's bad, who deserves what, who does not. Humanity should not be legislated. The fact we have to fight for laws to be considered humanity. Don't you know no human being is illegal? Spitting communities is cruel. It's only inevitable. Dismantle white supremacy. We can't even imagine raids in restaurants and travel bans. 100 people trapped, dying of heat and sweltering trucks and vans, imprisoned at 16, released at 35. Now at risk to be deported if you ain't enraged, then you ain't a comrade. Yeah. Have us wondering who got our backs. It means jobs and schools, a driver's license, and providing for mama. We just want a world for our children, because living in this poverty is not the answer. It means we honor and remember our families that risked everything to get us here. It means we can change this world for the better. Listen to water warriors. Protect these lands and each, each other. Smash patriarchy, because rape culture, toxic masculinity, all part of white supremacy, still rampant amongst you and me, defending all of these above, a dream we cannot attain without a fight, and this is the fight for our lives. Center those who are the most marginalized. Look to the dream to be our guide. It's a sad but beautiful struggle if it means we could be free. Kasamas, compañeras, comrades, someone recently said, we don't need more heroes or martyrs. We just need to give a damn and care. My people, we just need freedom. But if it means we bang as a revolutionary, then so be it. For freedom, I would die for you. Would you die for me beyond bars, beyond borders? Protect one another from these white supremacist orders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. Oh. 
the terrorists. Yeah. There were terrorists. Yeah. But we're happy now. Yeah. And try. Some of us. Ah, we have this one. What does it say? Defend the sacred. Do you know that one? Yes. This one is from. You know where it's from, right? Standing Rock. Yeah. Standing Rock. Standing Rock. Standing Rock. Yeah. 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 And the interesting thing is, this slogan also resonates among the indigenous people in Sweden who are fighting or who've been and continue to fight the Swedish government and all the other. Uh, capitalists who are, who are trying to grab the land and pollute the water, so it's the same struggle. But it's something. Yeah, with the yeah. same people. They don't. 
don't acknowledge your invisibility and continue to live in and contribute to a culture that kills you. Every day, one of us is taken by the enemy. Whether it is in an eight step due to homophobic government inaction, or a lesbian bashing in an all night diner in a supposedly lesbian neighborhood, we are being systematic, systematically kicked off. And we will continue to be wiped out unless we realize that if they take one of us, they must take all of us. Being queer is not about the right to privacy. It is about the freedom to be public, to just be who we are. It means everyday fighting oppression, homophobia, racism, misogyny, the bigotry of religious hypocrites, and our own self-hatred. We have been carefully taught to hate ourselves. And now, of course, it means fighting a virus as well, and all those homo haters who are using hate to wipe us off the face of Earth. The Queer Nation Manifesto, New York City, 1990. The strong sisters told the brothers that there were two important things to remember about the coming revolutions. The first is that we will get our asses kicked. The second is that we will win. The queer Closer, 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 closer. Closer. Please. Closer, closer. Everybody. Go closer. Okay, I have to take two pictures.
because we have lived the meaning of survival. We are the epitome of revival. Ain't it something that even when the world seems to fall into crumbles, we still believe in our potential? I don't know why I was born, but I know I have mourned too many times and I have been forewarned. I am not surprised, but I am torn, and all I know how to do is to organize at this point. It's do or die, ride or die. In the midst of chaos, we are resist the kind that turns tables in revolutions cause South Bronx fire's gonna blaze, taking it back to doing it in the after dark days. The rock steady six step and catch a burn on the six train days. Cross Bronx expressway down the middle ground and the landlords get paid. Every rapper in delight, our lives hip hop save. Especially today every rapper are in danger as every kind of Miley Cyrus are out there in blackface. Appropriation is too kind of a word for the kind of violence every Becky has ever showcased. Propping black culture up, claim they love hip hop, but not love the people who are hip hop. And yet, in the midst of chaos, you continue to resist while you sit right here with me, especially during the moments I'm pouring the Henny to push past the pain, drowning in these toxic conditions we refrain because we're wishing to be seen, to convene, to be loved in routine, so we create ciphers unforeseen, spinning bars upon bars, we are the dream. In the midst of chaos, I find that when I'm with you disrupting peace till there is justice brings me ease. This is where I breathe. When an ally is found at the right place, not taking up space, but putting it all out on the line. Like the note of a good bass line, we are thumping our way right on time to the heart of this struggle. I find comfort on our knees like Colin Kaepernick breaking loose from the NFL's institutional huddle. The way we resist is both beautiful and artful like a Fabiana Rodriguez, peace on our wall. Migration is beautiful, reimagine and move beyond bars and borders like butterflies and transformation. Soaring in patience to get to freedom takes more than conversations, but live statements in action. We shake them, outweigh them, let loose on two turntables and we sing to them because freedom is a song when we look to prison abolition. I remember Soledad brother, George Jackson, as I remember the incarceration of 120,000 Japanese Americans. I remember manifest destiny in the Pacific expansion, colonialism, and forced migration, constant targeting, racial profiling, surveillance, and deportations. Trump's travel ban, their agenda to build a wall, the fall of the I Hotel and the Chinese Exclusion Act, everything stacked against us, but I still remember Vincent Chin, Fong Li, the San Jose custodial family in the 1997 incident in New York upstate's Denny's and each time they tried to silence us, intimidate us, and bully us. Thus, I remember Audre Lorde who taught us even when we're afraid we must speak. So yo, check the technique in the midst of chaos. Sometimes I'd rather hide because it's so much easier not to know, but you see privilege is when you can actually cho choose not to know. But ain't no one got time for that. No time for the we ain't ready yet act because the time is now. The time was yesterday when they've been telling us that we're all public enemy number one. One, 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 one. Stop thinking about ourselves and singing like what's going on. In the midst of chaos, I'm following you through every movement because this is not the time to be silent and still. I am filled by the way we organize and fight because I am, you are, they, them, we are. Here, collective resistance is showing up for one another, especially in fear. In the midst of chaos, we've been occupied to only be forced to occupy what the occupiers have occupied. But of course, the banks never did say the 0% down would eventually catch up to us. What's to come for this land's warrior waters and protectors from Flint's water crisis to oil and Dakota pipelines? We keep seeing pipe bombs and pipelines and pipe bombs and pipelines, unemployment lines and segregation lines from school to prison to oil, from Syrian refugees fleeing to new soil, from police to the government, from Oregon standoffs, white vigilantes militant from their guns to our necks to the chest to the backs, from their all lives matter racist rants, from Trayvon Martin to Tyree King, from the neoliberals to the conservative right wings, from Sky Mockaby to Corinne Gaines, from Terrence Clutcher to Alfred Olango, from Attica to Holman, from Drones to our homes, from Ferguson to Charlottesville to El Cajon, from The Rock against TPP to Standing Rock. You see, Trump is president, but I'm really not in shock. I'm more in shock that 45 voters don't know that white supremacy patriarchy itself is a pre-existing condition that got us locked. 
How can we be free with Duterte's drug wars to the America's war on drugs? CIA flood black communities with crack cocaine, so who are the real thugs? Everyone wants to kill the addict, the drug or the skin disabled druggie poor and your con convict locked in a cell, died by suicide. Sandra Bland, was that their verdict? Duterte, you're no hero, an opportunist killing our own people. Kill us along to 41 acres and a mule that was promised to black lives. They kill us with their lives like they were never coming for us, like they never thought my father would tell me about those. Positively, no Filipinos allowed sign. Fagin you the time, Buffalo soldier on our side. Grace Lee Boggs, Yuri Kuchiyama, Philippine X to indigenous lands to the African diaspora. We were in solidarity before we even knew it. Black and brown lives, black and Asian lives, indigenous lives, our lives matter only when we honor black lives. We must call out our own anti-black racism before we can say we were in solidarity before we even knew it. This race to attain whiteness in the model minority are all just myths, dismantle it all, and we were in solidarity before we even knew it and if we still don't know it we better damn well start doing it in the midst of chaos I know I must get close to you and love this poem with my fist we refuse and resist like a real accomplice we show up keeping us safe from every white vigilante supremacist terrorist in the midst of chaos this is not us it's a false narrative because for every one of us that has participated in the covert to overt white supremacy for every one of us that has been silent among strangers our friends and family we are complicit this is us in the midst of chaos feel my rage feel our rage because our rage is making music and it's making love on this page of resistance we stay ready glocks up we stay fighting in the midst of chaos we are engaged with a people's army maki baka white supremacy ain't got nothing on me cannot touch me cannot touch we not through this kind of rage the rage that calls upon us out of shakur because like her i believe in the fire of love and the strength of truth because rage is revolutionary love that don't give a fuck about respectability, especially in this time when telling it like it is and keeping it real matters because speaking truth to power is letting us speak our anger in the midst of chaos. We must continue to be the dreams of a thousand waves coming to shore, letting it hit the core of you and me, smashing white supremacist hetero patriarchy. This is what becomes of a revolutionary. Let live this rage. Self-defense is a right. It's ride or die, do or die, organize, resist and fight.
drink a ceremonial tea. Ahora sí. Finalmente, podremos eh, hacer nuestra ceremonia de té. This tea is usually served hot, but we don't want to risk burning it. So this is iced tea. Este té generalmente lo servimos caliente, pero no quisimos arriesgarnos a quemarlos, así que este té es frío. This tea originally comes from a place, from a village hidden in the mountains outside of Tehran, Iraq. Este té ori eh, es originariamente originario ¿sí? eh, de un pueblito chiquitito escondido en las montañas afuera de Teherán, Irán. Mm. The people living in this village has a lot of, uh, has a, oh sorry, sorry, uh, it's the first time we're doing it in two languages. The people living in this village has a, have a great connection to nature and they also have a lot of knowledge that has gone lost in many other places. La gente que vive en este pueblito tiene una, una conexión muy cercana a la naturaleza y tiene sabiduría que se ha perdido en otros lugares. And it's also really important to say that all the inhabitants of this village are women. También es importante decir que todos los habitantes de este pueblito son mujeres. You're making this up, right? What do you mean? Yes, the story is not true. No, no, it's not. <laughs> but I think I have the right to that. You know I was born in Tehran. <laughs> it's not like I'm complaining. Well, in that case, Alejandra, can we continue? This tea is used in a life-changing ritual. That these sisters... But it's still exoticizing. Actually, I agree. Yeah, I mean, you can't be all exoticizing and hit up all. Uh, makeup stuff. You can't be all exoticizing and makeup stuff just because you belong to that particular culture. Mm. Uh, but come on now. Uh, I mean, compared to all the shit that the Western countries have told about people from Iran, or people who live in Iran, I hope you remember not without my daughter. What is that in Spanish? No sin mi hija. You know the book and the film, yeah. That rule of us. So I mean, compared to all the lies we've been forced to put up with, this is so innocent, no? I mean, no pistachios, no flying carpets, no nothing. <laughs> I don't know really. No? Yeah. Because. What? Oh, yeah. What if? Yeah, but I mean, it depends who you ask. Yes, of course. You're the one who's always reminding people. Yes, you're right. We have so messed up our lives now. <laughs> but I think you follow, right? <laughs> so, I made a mistake that is totally improvised. Yes. I'm so sorry. I would like to apologize. Especially, I would like to apologize to all the people sitting in this audience that may come from the villages outside of Tehran or maybe have some kind of connection and know that there aren't any village with only women. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to translate that? Or should I just? I think so. Okay. I'm so sorry that I just took for granted that no one like that would be here in this audience. Can we start over? Is it okay? Gracias. So now for the translation, I'm going to use some help because I don't want to get up with my chilensi. <laughs> I speak Spanish, but I'm from Chile. You know how they speak? <laughs> <laughs> they swear. I had really good. Uh, well, I'm not swear so. I, I... <laughs> so okay. So now I'm gonna start over. Yes. Now it's finally time for us to drink a ceremonial tea. This tea is usually served hot, but we don't want to risk burning you. So this is iced tea. This tea originally comes from a place, an imaginary place. Bueno, este té 
es originario de un lugar imaginario. A place we dream about, but also a place that we experience from time to time. Un lugar con que el soñamos, pero también de un lugar en el que a veces estamos. In this place, sisters of all genders live in harmony and respect for each other and Mother Earth. En este lugar, hermanas de todos géneros viven en armonía con la Madre Tierra, tierra y con gran respeto para cada uno. Love and understanding and not competition is their strongest philosophy. El amor y la comprensión y no a la competencia es la filosofía por la que se rige. This is a tea that the sisters drink in a ritual they perform when they know they're going to face their enemies. So basically just before battle. Este té es utilizado en un ritual. El ritual lo hacen todas juntas cada vez, cada vez que se van a enfrentar el enemigo. Así que básicamente justo antes de la cada batalla. They meet like this. Se juntan. Así. They pour a glass of tea slowly. Well, I have to do it a bit fast because you're men. <laughs> lo sirven lentamente. Everyone gets a glass, even those who have allergies, but just take the glass and molly to, to be part of the ritual. In this tea, they put ginger because it's warming. In this tea, they put ginger because it's warming. Peppermint because it's energizing. Menta porque es energizante. Lime fruit, because there's almost no other fruit that bears so much nutrition as this small fruit. And because they have a lot of lime in this place. <laughs> Lima, porque es de las pocas frutas que tiene tantiti, tantiti, tantísima nutriente. Y porque hay muchas limas en este pueblo. They put a pinch of chili to stimulate the blood flow. También tiene una pizca, se dice así, de chile polvo para estimular la circulación de la sangre. And last but not least, they add honey, because honey symbolizes the sweetness they have in life, despite of the fact that they have to go to battle. Y por último, aunque esto no es, no lo hace menos importante, le agregan miel, porque la miel simboliza la dulzura que tienen en su vida a pesar del hecho que tienen que ir a batalla. Oh my God, I'm, I, I should be ready now, right? Because yeah, uh, so, uh, now I say, when everyone has a glass, so which one does that have? Oh, okay, okay, so uh, maybe we would need some help, please. Okay, come. So here are some glasses, you can thank you very much. So the ones who doesn't have a glass, who don't have a glass, how many? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry.
de que no importa qué tan fuerte sea el enemigo no tiene nuestra fortaleza más grande we don't need to be David or no necesitamos ser David o Goliat we don't wear our or their names. no tenemos las armas de nuestros enemigos ni sus nombres en whatever enemy we have to face or what places we have to leave this sisterly place for we will always carry with us our pain. Y quien quiera que sea el enemigo que tenemos que enfrentar, o cualquiera que sean los lugares por lo que tenemos que, por lo que nos veamos forzadas a dejar este lugar de hermanada, 
siempre llevamos nuestro dolor con nosotros. Our collective pain, the pain we are born with, the pain we inherit, the pain that is imprinted on our bodies over and over again. El dolor que está impreso en nuestros cuerpos una y otra vez más. That is our biggest strength. And that is what we remind ourselves of when we take another sip. Ese es nuestro, es este mismo dolor en el que, que es nuestra fortaleza más grande. Because it's the strength we carry to fight. La fortaleza que llevamos con nosotras a la batalla. Llevamos las experiencias. We carry the community. Llevamos la comunidad. That's what we are drinking for. Por eso es por lo que tomamos. And with us we carry to battle. Y lo que llevamos con nosotras a batalla. Thank you very much. This is